Hey, Coach Abel here along with Coach Weiss of the Able Body Experts and this Coach Em Up is a Letters to the Coach. And uh, the letter basically, Coach, I, I don't want to read people's names, but it said, Dear Coach, a friend of mine is a vegan and has lost a lot of weight on the vegan diet and I'm thinking of going the same route. What do you think? And that's a good question, Coach, and it's a fair question. Yeah. And uh, obviously, um, let's talk about vegan eating versus vegan dieting. Okay, well, as soon as you imply dieting, you're implying something about calories. So let's leave that aspect out of it. And let's look at diets in general and food in general and see what the distinctions are. And for you and I, Coach, this one's a no-brainer. But for other people, they think there's magic in the diet system. For instance, there's a popular website that sells a protein-only diet. And all you can have is uh, the protein shake for... 30 days. Well, of course, people lose weight because of all the foods that they're not allowed to eat. Yeah. This is no different than the cabbage soup diet and the grapefruit diet of the 80s. This is the same mentality, just packaged in a different way. The Christmas wrapping is just a lot prettier. And the vegan diet is actually the same. Yes, you know, a vegan diet, if you're heavy and you're not a vegan and you go to a vegan diet, you will more than likely lose weight. But the reason is not so much the specialty of the vegan diet but the fact that you're eliminating so many other foods that you would normally eat that tend to be higher in calories. So the magic isn't in the vegan aspect of it. The reality is in a process of elimination. Coach? Yeah, it's no different than, and I'm sure you, you can relate to this, uh, back in the 60s, I believe, the bodybuilders, uh, they used to drink a lot of whole milk. And then when they came time for pre-contest, they cut the milk out and they got lean. So that uh, thus became the theory that you can't have milk on a pre-contest diet because it makes you retain water and makes you fat. Well, the reality of it is that when they took milk out of their diet, they were taking hundreds and hundreds of calories out of their diet every day, so they got leaner, lo and behold. So just think, not so much, think of ways of eating, not so much as diet, but as in food. So nothing wrong with a vegan diet, but the reason it leads to weight loss for people who weren't vegans before is what we're talking about is that you're just eliminating so many foods. And that's no different than, like I said, the cabbage soup diet and the uh, grapefruit only diet. And uh, there's been a whole bunch of diets that basically focus on one food at the expense of all these others. And basically you get so sick of eating that one specific food that you eat less of it, so you tend to keep losing weight. The important thing to watch there is that you don't get that down regulation of metabolism that slows your metabolic rate. And this is the danger when you start looking at things like a vegan diet as a diet rather than a way of eating. So this has been a very important coach em up. Coach? Yeah, the, the same thing goes for um, the supplements and stuff when you're going on to, whether it be a vegan diet or just a vegetarian diet or, or whatever you have. Um, when, you're, when you start eliminating food out of your diet and replacing it with other supplements and stuff, yeah, you're probably going to lose weight because your calories are going to be lower too. But in the long term, nobody is going to eat that way for a long time. So if you can't sustain your diet, then it's probably not going to sustain you either. So be wary of systems of eating. Don't look at them as diets. Look at them as systems of eating. And uh, focus on the reality of the more food you eliminate, then obviously the more weight you're going to lose. There's no magic in the actual diet. And this has been a Coach Em Up.